Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 in 5 tutorial. So in today's video, it's going to be a nice, quick and simple one, in which we're simply just going to be changing the colour of a material or a texture inside of Unreal Engine 5. So as you can see on screen now, this is the original texture, and I've obviously made it green, blue and red as well. Now the reason why you might want to do this in 5 instead of an actual software, so instead of in Blender or Photoshop or wherever you're getting your textures from, is because maybe you don't have access to the raw file of the texture, or maybe you want to be able to do it in runtime in game as well, so while the game is playing, you want to change the colour. Whatever your reason is, this is how we're going to be going over and doing it today. So without further ado, let me delete this and I'll show you how I've done it. Also, before we get into the rest of the video, I just want to very quickly say that we're trying to hit 50,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So if you do enjoy my content and you're not already subscribed, please do consider doing so as it really does help me and the channel out quite a lot. And again, 50,000 before the end of the year is our goal. So do make sure to like and subscribe down below if you do enjoy the content. So thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the video. So as you can see here, I've got a cube with a simple material on it, like so, it's just a bit of wood, which I'm going to be changing the colour of. So in order to do this, what we want to do is open up our content browser and open up the material which we want to change the colour of. So I'm going to open it up straight away like so, and you can see all I've got in here is a simple text node going into the base colour. What we want to do is again very simple. We're going to drag the texture sample out to give us a bit of room. Then out of RGB, we're going to get a blend overlay, like so. And you'll notice there was two there, so what we want is we want to get the top one under blends instead of miscellaneous and the result will go into base colour. Now you'll get this error, that's just because we haven't finished it yet. So base v3 is our texture, the, so the material we want to add the colour to, and blend v3 is the colour we want to add. So what we're going to do is hold down 3 and left click to get a vector parameter here, which is going to be our colour. Then what we're going to do is just set this to the colour we want. By default, I'm just going to set it as white, and I'll say by default because we're going to change this in a moment's time. Out of this, we're going to get a multiply node, so just under math there, and then we're going to hold down 1 and left click to get a constant, connecting that into B, and the default value for this is going to be 1. Then this multiply is going to go into the blend V3, and you'll notice we no longer have that error, and if we apply it, it should look pretty similar, it should just look the exact same, because we're just adding the white colour onto it, so it's not really going to make any difference. Now all we need to do is just change this colour here and the intensity of it here. But what I'm going to do is make it so we can then change this inside of material instance so we can do it a lot easier in runtime and just also in the editor too. So what we're going to do is right click on the vector parameter and convert to parameter. I'm just going to change this one tint color for example. And then the constant I'm going to do the same. Right click convert to parameter and I'll name this tint intensity. You can name these whatever you like, but these make the most sense for me. And you can do the texture as well, so do the same thing, so convert to parameter, but I'm not going to bother with that just now, because I know I want this to be on this texture. So now we're going to apply that, and this is all we need to do. If we close it, we can then go back to our content browser, right click the material and create a material instance, and then we'll drag that onto the cube that we want to have the material on, and then open up the material instance straight away. And you'll notice we now have the tint intensity and the tint color. If we tick both of these, we can then change these values in here and it will change this material nice and smoothly like this. So let's change the color first of all. Let's set it to a nice red. And you'll notice immediately as I'm changing this, the material is changing color like so. So again, let's set it to red and then we can increase and decrease the intensity as well. So it's going to be fully changing what this looks like perfectly like this. And if you change it to a blue, we get these colours like so. So you can really see what it is that we're doing here, we're just changing the colour on the material using the actual colour itself and the intensity we want the colour at. And obviously if I were to save this material instance and close it, you'll notice it is changing the material in the world as well. So if I were to just open this up but put it to the side of my screen, you'll notice it is going to be changing it in here too. So we can change it perfectly like so. It's nice and efficient and working perfectly for us. So I think that'll be it for this video, as we've done everything we've wanted to do. What we've done is just set up a very simple bit of code, or just a material really, that is going to be changing the colour of a material or a texture inside of our game, which you can obviously do in the editor or in runtime as well. So thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.